haben. Alright, hey guys, welcome to the Pine Tree Lion. My name is Doug. And if you haven't been to the channel before, uh, welcome. We are all about the outdoors and interesting things, places, and history. Kind of a combination of a lot of things, but guaranteed to keep you uh, entertained and interested. I'm out here, uh, Upper Path Lake, with my good buddy Mark from Open Air Outdoors. Check out his channel. And uh, we just finished paddling the first lake portaging and getting here happy to be here excited to get some fish do some camping um, weather's unbelievable mid-september and it is uh pushing 30 degrees celsius taking <laughs> all kinds of stuff in northern ontario last weekend it was freezing and it was down to like 10. Campsite's looking a little bit different. I see, from what I can see here, looks like a tree fell right in the middle of it. We'll go have a closer look. All right guys, so we're at the campsite and I'll, I'll throw in a little uh, video of the campsite last year. Got a big fire pit and I think this will be probably the area where we sleep. Mark is tarping it, I believe under his canoe. I'm tenting it. You'll be home for the next couple of nights. And it looks a little bit different this year because we had this big uh, pine tree just uh, fall over. It looks like it, it fell in the winter because it's, it's pretty dry. And uh, we're going to be able to make use of it for wood and stuff. But I had to cut some uh, uh, of the roots to get by there because we are uh, tenting back in the same area that uh, we did last year. So, uh, you know, it's part of the adventure. You... Uh, 
you know, you just have to deal with it and keep moving forward. Look at Mark, he won't even stop. He's out of control. It's super hot. We're pretty exhausted from paddling in. It's pushing 30 degrees Celsius, so we'll do as much as we can here and then uh, got to re-energize, get something to eat and drink for sure. Oh, me too. That's next. I'm gonna go over and grab a drink right now. It's gonna shape up. It's gonna shape up, but I'm gonna clear out a couple of these things and we'll be able to burn them and just creates more room for our tents back here and to be able to get back here a little easier. All right guys, got the tent set up. Mark's got his tent set up right beside me. Yeah, we're gonna camp on this side. General area of, uh, what would you call it, daily activity? Yeah. <laughs> we'll be on the other side of this tree. Mm. We'll have our fire and eat and stuff. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gassed. I'm uh, it's just the heat and uh, not drinking a whole lot, not drinking enough, never enough. I enough? did, uh, I got some Gatorade. Yeah. Cool. I've been drinking uh, Gatorade but I need to uh, just kind of sit down and chill and drink some more. Uh, I just wanted to cut a few more of these branches out of the way. It's good for firewood and it gives uh, some more room as I'm entering the tent through here. All right guys, Mark has made steak, potatoes with onions and covered in cheese. Man, this is just unbelievable. Morning everyone. Just wanted to show you what Mark made yesterday. This shelf out of an old picnic table that was here that is half rotted out. So he made use of the tree that fell down and brought some small nails. His intent was to actually fix the uh, picnic table but it's kind of half far gone, so he decided that he would do it this way. And pretty cool in the back, place to keep spices and extra stuff. Yeah, really well done. Took him about 10 minutes to put this together.
All right, guys, this is breakfast. We got uh, eggs, bacon, cheddar cheese. Marcus put this together. I did purchase this stuff, <laughs> so I'm not completely useless. Uh, so I, I contributed. Uh, um, but anyways, Mark uh, loves cooking, so. And I love eating, and uh, if he loves cooking, that's better for me. I don't have to cook, so. Looking good. Breakfast is going to be hearty because we're going to be on the lake for uh, most of the day. Catching fish. Hopefully. All right, ready to shove off. Hope for the best. There's an old trapper's cabin a little further up here, and uh, Mark's told me in the past that he's had some luck fishing there, so kind of heading in that direction. So is he is across the lake right now so two-pronged attack <laughs> hope we can uh, make something happen here all right so we got some action here there you go Hey, just a little guy. Well, oh, we'll let him go. All right, just having a look at that trapper's cabin. Hey guys, back at the campsite and um, only ended up catching that one fish. I went all the way up the end of the lake and back and tried my best. I tried different uh, lures and uh, different crankbait and stuff and uh, nothing seemed to work. I got a few bites here and there, but other than that one little uh, bass that I caught, that was it. Fortunately, Mark saved the day as he always does and he caught four nice sized fish. And I'm looking forward to uh, supper because we are going to have a fish fry. Because Mark does all the cooking, I try to do other things to uh, to help out. Uh, keeping the fire going. I've been cutting wood uh, left and right. Just sharing the camp chores because it's not up to one guy to do everything. Alright guys, check that out. Thank you sir. You're welcome. Nothing goes uh, better with uh, fish and... White wine. Chili than white wine. Well, maybe it does or it doesn't, but we have white wine, so we're going to drink it. Oh. Alright Doug, so let's try out the fish Cheers. first thing. Oh, sorry. Cheers. Mm. Let's do the taste test on the fish okay. first thing. Campfire barbecue? Yeah. We were doing a little um, taste test of the um, the fish crisp we're using today. This is a outdoor flavors barbecue. And Mark and I have had a different flavor uh, previous to this, a uh, herb and garlic almost. The one thing I've noticed, and, and Mark pointed out actually last time, is it's uh, it's good, but it, it it's light on the flavoring. 
So if you're if you want a heavy flavored taste, don't go with outdoor flavors. But it's good. And the chili beans is from an MRE, which Mark and I both uh, enjoy MREs on occasion. Yeah. So uh, no it's issue there. It makes makes for a great side, right? Yeah, absolutely, hundred percent. No. Anyways, we're gonna continue eating. I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere, and we're eating like this again. It's uh, <laughs> again, <laughs> it's unbelievable, and it makes it all worth it. Carrying some of the stuff, portaging some of it, maybe a little heavy with the cooler and that, but it's nice to have some uh, cold white wine and uh, eating some great food. Good morning from the back country of Northern Ontario. We got up about an hour and a half ago and uh, it's been chilling, drinking coffee with some Baileys and uh, you know, just having a, a relaxing morning. Licking my wounds. Yes, uh, there was a little incident last night that uh, I didn't uh, bring up last night because it was a little, little too soon. <laughs> but uh, Mark flew his drone last night I just actually finished flying the drone just now and everything went everything went great but Mark flew his drone last night and as soon as it he got it up in the air it uh, just started doing its own thing and it was acting completely crazy and ended up with a flyaway and it's gone we don't even know where it may have landed uh, so yeah it was pretty upsetting eh Mark yeah well it was it uh, it was a bit of an it was definitely an experience not a not a good experience no but uh what there's nothing we could do what we have going on is some bacon english muffins cheese which is on top of an egg <clears throat> and hash browns just melting the cheese into the hash browns and another lovely breakfast compliments of mark of course i don't mind Mm. All right, just finished breakfast. Awesome breakfast once again. Mark's an amazing cook. I'm very grateful, Mark. If you're watching this video in the future, I'm very grateful for your cooking. You're amazing at it. But one day, I told Mark last night, one day on one of our next trips sometime, I'm going to cook a meal for Mark. So you got my word. I'm putting it right here on the video. Anyways, we're going to start packing up. Uh, not going to be all that interesting to watch, so... Once we get packed up and get in the in the canoe, then uh, I'll see you then. All right, all packed up, and away we go. And I see it on the lake, a little bit more of a breeze. It's uh, 11.30. The winds have uh, picked up a little bit, which is nice to have a little bit of a breeze to work with. So for right now, going to enjoy the ride home a little bit of a tailwind for the moment anyways god knows how long that'll last but once again a great trip out here i mean it's a great spot crownland camping uh is a unique experience unto itself uh it's just different and hopefully we left the campsite a little bit better than when we came to it with Mark building that table. So if somebody else comes, they can use that as well. And uh, that's kind of how it goes. The advantage of it is just there's hardly any people. In this case, no people. Um, so that's a huge advantage. I didn't expect it to be 30 degrees, so, but you know what? Can't complain about that either. So we'll make our way out of here. Really appreciate you watching and uh, like the video if you like it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.